The 10 Worst Foods for Your Heart, According to a Cardiologist Nowadays, plenty of restaurants openly brag about having a 3,000-calorie, heart attack special, laced with straight lard and sugar. But coronary disease is no joke, and while most people don't worry about this stuff until they're old enough to have a kid in college, it's smart to pay attention to your ticker long before you require a Lipitor prescription. Since there's a lot of information floating around about foods that'll supposedly stop your heart, we called up a legit cardiologist to set the record straight. Like any decent doc, Jeff Etherton stressed that everything in moderation is key. Eating a little bit of any of these foods won't kill you. Just don't go too crazy on the Chinese buffet. French fries. At the risk of ruining state fairs forever, we have to break it to you that no fried food is actually heart healthy. That's because they're so high in saturated and trans fats, two things that should comprise only a tiny amount of your diet. But the case against French fries is particularly damning. What you're doing is taking a pure chunk of carbohydrate and then you're frying it and putting salt on it, Etherton explains. The problem is our bodies do crave that sodium and fat. But it's good to substitute that stuff with healthier, plant-based snacks that are still delicious. Sadly, we already checked, and Cheetos don't count as vegetables. Want to keep your heart and cardiovascular system healthy for years to come? Keep these meals and snack items away from your cart and out of your regular diet. Save them for occasional indulgences, at most, and replace them with heart-healthy swaps whenever possible. Fast Food Burgers The science on whether saturated fats are truly linked to heart disease isn't entirely clear. When consumed in moderation, high-quality, grass-fed beef may even have some heart health benefits, says Dr. Regina Druz, Associate Professor of Cardiology at Hofstra University and Chief of Cardiology at St. John Episcopal Hospital in New York City. But in general, Druz says, saturated fats from animals, especially when combined with carbohydrates, appear to have a deleterious effect on heart health. Avoiding fast-food restaurants, which tend to use lower quality ingredients and unhealthy cooking methods, is always a smart way to cut back, she says. Processed and cured meats. Cold cuts and cured meats, like bacon and sausage, can be high in saturated fat. But even low fat options tend to be very high in salt. Just six thin slices of deli meat can contain half the daily recommended level of sodium, according to the American Heart Association. The majority of people should be on a salt-restricted diet because of sodium's link to high blood pressure, says Dr. Lakshmi Mehta, director of the Women's Cardiovascular Health Program at The Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center. Not everyone needs medication to make big strides, she says. Sometimes my patients with elevated blood pressure are able to make significant improvements just by adjusting their diet. Deep Fried Foods Several studies have linked the consumption of fried foods, like French fries, fried chicken and fried snacks, to an increased risk of heart disease. Conventional frying methods create trans fats, a type of fat shown to raise the bad type of cholesterol and lower the good kind. If you're making a veggie stir-fry at home and you're preparing it with olive oil and coconut oil, there's certainly nothing wrong with that, says Druz. But what most people understand as typical fried food, the kinds you don't prepare at home, should certainly be avoided. Candy For many years, fat was branded as the biggest dietary cause of heart disease. But a report published last year in JAMA Internal Medicine revealed that studies funded by the sugar industry were largely responsible for pushing that belief. Now, experts say that diets high in added sugar may be just as big a threat by contributing to obesity inflammation, high cholesterol and diabetes, all of which are risk factors for heart disease. The debate in cardiology has pivoted from saturated fat and cholesterol to sugar, says Druz. If there is one ingredient I would say anyone with heart disease or risk for heart disease must avoid, it's added sugar in any form. Soft drinks and sugar-sweetened juices. For many Americans, the largest source of added sugar in their diets isn't from food, but from beverages. Recent government reports found that more than 60% of children, 54% of adult men, 
and 45% of adult women had at least one soda or sugar-sweetened drink a day between 2011 and 2014. Sugary Cereals Even foods that seem like part of a balanced diet, like breakfast cereals, can be loaded with sugar. Eating refined carbohydrates and sugars in the morning is going to produce inflammation and make blood sugar go up and down, so you'll crave more sugar throughout the day, Druz says. Instead, she recommends having fruit along with an egg or avocado on whole wheat toast. Cookies and pastries Most baked goods, especially those that are commercially produced, are full of sugar and are likely made with saturated fats, like butter or palm oil, or trans fats, like partially hydrogenated vegetable oil. You have two ingredients that work with each other to give somebody the worst possible nutritional profile, Druz says. Margarine there may be room for debate about the cardiovascular risks associated with saturated fats, like butter. What's more certain is that diets high in trans fats appear to definitely raise a person's risk of heart disease. Trans fats are common in sticks of margarine that are solid at room temperature, which are often marketed as a healthier alternative to butter. To be safe, choose a soft, spreadable margarine that contains no partially hydrogenated oils, or stick with olive oil instead. Meat Lover's Pizza After cold cuts and cured meats, pizza ranks second on the American Heart Association's list of salty six foods. Other salt bombs to watch for include soups, condiments, and salad dressings. Pizza's sodium content, as well as its saturated fat, goes way up as you pile on extra cheese and meat-based toppings. When eating out or getting delivery, limit yourself to one or two slices, and opt for veggie toppings instead. Diet Soda It may be fat-free and zero-calorie, but diet soda has a dark side. People are under the impression that they're healthy, and they're really not, says Druz. Research continues to mount linking the cola to the development of heart disease risk factors like obesity and diabetes. Some studies show that people who drink diet sodas tend to overcompensate and consume more calories than they otherwise would, while other research suggests that chemicals in diet soda may actually alter gastrointestinal bacteria and make people more prone to gaining weight. While it may have no sugar, it's not a heart-healthy choice, says Druz. Red meats, plus pork. This is another case where people rag on it for a reason. Red meats have a considerable amount of cholesterol and saturated fat, as well as another terror called L-carnitine, which is why they make your doctor so nervous. Pros like Etherton advise patients to limit lean red meats to less than 10% of their average diet to play it safe, and don't think you can get away with replacing your porterhouse with a pork chop. A lot of people say pork isn't red, so you're okay, Etherton says. But it still has a lot of saturated fat so you need to limit it as you would any red meat. Potato and corn chips. There's a lot of stuff health experts hate about your chips. They're packed with carbs, sometimes high in trans fat, and, worst of all, swimming in sodium. And while your doctor is never going to be completely okay with a category of snacks literally dubbed junk food, Etherton recommends you read the labels so you can at least pick out a less gluttonous option. Also, Maybe eat less than 10 servings in one sitting. Treats with tropical oils. You already know how to read a label for sugar and fat content, but one thing you should really look out for is the oils in the ingredient list. While Etherton says olive, canola, and sunflower oils are actually pretty excellent, tropical oils are the devil as far as your ticker is concerned. Those include coconut, palm kernel, and palm oils. Most potato chip companies ditched those guys years ago, but tropical oils are still present in some snacks, particularly packaged cakes and cookies. Chinese food Etherton cautions that even lighter Thai food can be stealthily unhealthy, but Chinese is the far guiltier takeout order. Just look at something like General Tso's, he says. It's got so much sodium and fat, plus it's fried. While that's an extreme example, the sodium levels in most Chinese food were concerning enough to merit an American Heart Association guide.